Hi, I'm Adrian Brown, the homeschool mom of eight, and in today's video, we're talking about homeschooling tweens. And when I say tweens, I'm talking about sixth grade to eighth grade. Hi there, I'm Adrian Brown, the homeschool mom of eight, and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about homeschooling the tweens. <laughs> when I say tweens, I am talking about six to eight. But you know, they're just fresh out of elementary school. The tweens, they're not quite babies, kitty stuff anymore, and they're not quite high school. They're in between. <laughs> and believe me, I have had a few of those little ones in my life during my homeschooling career. So I knew a thing or two about tw raising tweens. <laughs> so get yourself a cup of coffee and let's talk about homeschooling tweens. This is the time to instill good work habits. School work habits into your young kids because see, they're just coming out that elementary playground school, um, school playground, having fun and not having to think of anything. And um, from they're coming out of that era when you're the one fighting all, getting all of their <laughs> paperwork and doing everything for them. Well, when they when they are in elementary school, you have to start. You have to make sure that they start to think more responsibly. And that means still accountability in them, meaning they, they have to make sure that they're the ones going to find their books. They, have, they make sure that everyone, when they get up, they have their school, their notebooks, their book bag, whatever they need to complete the day's workload, right? I mean, no, there's not going to be anyone there as they uh, get into high school to walk behind them and help them find these things. So you have to teach them, start to train them to start thinking like that. I know they're just in the sixth grade, but pretty soon they're going to be seventh grade, eighth grade, and then in high school. They need to start developing, you need to start developing these skills in, within them right now at this tween, between, in this tween stage. Also, so there's um, accountability and get them, start teaching them research skills. You know, like they need to be able to go into the onto the internet or look up in dictionaries. And believe me, don't just let them research on the internet. That's, I mean, although they need those skills because that's where the world is going. We have, um, it's, everything is digital, everything is online. But your children should also know what it is to use an encyclopedia, a dictionary, and a thesaurus because it is not, um, it is not a good thing if they can't open up one of those books and find stuff. I also know beyond a shadow of a doubt that um, we don't use phone books anymore and we don't use maps too much anymore. But those are some skills that you can still teach your kids. Just introduce them to the, to the idea of an atlas, you know, because we don't want our kids to be just only social media savvy. We want them to be, to have all sorts of skills. Anyway, so as I said, we have to um, start getting them ready to be in, to be in um, high school. So we do that by giving them, um, making them become more accountable for themselves, giving them research skills and teaching them self-love. Because see, this is at the stage, they are, they're at the stage where um, brains can be so easily manipulated and influenced. And we don't want our children to be flopping back to and forth by listening to other people's thoughts about who they're supposed to be. Now, we're homeschooling our kids, they're at home, but they can still be influenced by people on social media. They can be influenced by people at church, people in any, on the sports teams that you put them on. We want to build a strong sense of self-love in our kids because that's what's gonna keep, make them go on and prosper and know to think for themselves. Okay, the things that I really focus upon when I'm homeschooling tweens, because without those three characteristics, it will be very hard to progress in a healthy, safe way up into high, to high schools. So there's four other areas where I like to focus on when I'm working with young tweens. And like I said, when I'm saying tweens, I'm talking sixth, seven, and eighth graders, okay? So the other thing is we instill good school work habits. This is the time where we need to instill a sense of purpose in their lives. You know, they are transitioning from kiddie stuff to young adulthood. So they need to start, we need to start trying to cultivate a sense of purpose. And like, what is it they, they see themselves doing as they get older? What is it we need to start educating them towards, okay? That's what I mean by that. You know, girls um, are becoming they're heading towards womanhood. They're becoming, they're beginning to develop. They're beginning to go through the stages of, um, that will, the stages that turns them into women. Boys are coming into manhood. So like I said earlier about their brains are so easily um, influenced and manipulated. This is the time we need to have them learn who they are and what it is they want out of life. I mean, I teach all, all 
sorts of life skills to my boys and girls. Learning how just about self-care, how to take care of themselves, how to make sure they get up and brush their teeth, bathe every day, get dressed up. Look, I'm, I know there are families out there who are late sleepers and pajama wearers all day and they don't see anything wrong with that. But I, um, I come from a different mindset <laughs> and it may be because of I was the oldest girl in my own within my own childhood and so I had to be in charge of a lot of stuff and plus I went into the military but I believe we need to get up get up in the morning especially when no one is going outside the home to, uh, to work late at night no the kids in my house we get up early and they must get dressed they cannot walk around in their pajamas all day you know why because in, if they were in public school they would be up and well <laughs> I was about to say they wouldn't be able to walk in their pajamas but that's not true anymore <laughs> but my children won't be doing that they're going to school in clothes regular clothes not pajamas <laughs> anyway, so if they're homeschooled you need to get, if, when, when you're homeschooling, you need to train your kids to get prepared, to get up and be ready in the morning. And the first thing they need to do is fix their beds and, and get their room straightened up. That's the first thing. And then take care of themselves, self-care. Brush your teeth, comb your hair, put on some clothes. Don't come downstairs looking any old kind of way. That's part, that, these skills may seem like they have nothing to do with academics, but actually they do. Because a ready mind, a ready mindset gets the person ready and in the, in the mode of being educated, okay? So the next thing um, I do, I teach them how to um, m make right decisions. That means they need to be able to wake up in the morning and say, okay, I have to do complete this, this, and this in school. And in order for me to get it done by the end of the day, I need to get up at a certain time. And if I want to eat first, if I got chores, see, our kids have chores outside the home. So they, and because we have animals, so they have to go outside and make sure they eat. see to those things first. And then they come in and feed themselves. So see, that's, a, that's instilling a sense of purpose responsibility and care for someone else other than yourself that's so very important we don't want to raise a generation of selfish kids start sorting out for your kid what they're leaning towards in their lives I mean as far as are they leaning towards college do they want to do they want to start up their own business do they desire to have work for a certain company it, you may say well why would I have my please think about that stuff believe me this is the these are the seeds that are being planted in them and as they age these seeds start to sprout and they won't be at a loss when they are in high school. It's important to know, to know, um, to have some idea as to what they wanna do. Do they wanna go to high, to college? Do they wanna go to the military? Do they want to um, um, stay home and start a business? What do they wanna do? The point is, they are, these, these are things for older kids to think about, but as tweens, we wanna know these things because we can start tailoring their education towards what it is they're leaning towards. So that's my that's why I like to look at that type of thing. So, and the fifth element that is so very important when you're homeschooling tweens is the element of um, academics. I know, believe me, I have lots of friends who are homeschoolers. I know um, lots of friends who have kids who, who have children who decided not to go to college. And that is all fine and dandy. But I'm of the mindset that if you educate your child, you need to prepare them academically. All kids need to be educated as if they are going to college, as if they are going to college. I say that even if they choose not to attend college, they should have the academic skills to do so even if they choose not to go. That's important. This means, I mean, it's so important. They need to be, they need to know, um, have the right maths, have the right languages, have the right sciences. And it starts in middle school. You have to make sure that your child, especially when they get, well, the foundations are laid in elementary, right? And when they get to fifth grade, math becomes, their math becomes harder and harder. And so you have to make sure that they're not slacking, that they're not lacking any skills, and they are not left behind when suddenly they change their, their minds when they get to high school and they want to go to college. You, they're telling you, oh, I'm not going to college. I don't want to do this. I want to stay home and be a farmer. Because that has happened to me. I had a child that told me that he wanted to stay home and he just wanted to work on the um, on the property. But then it turns out he, when he got older, he did not want to do that. That's not the thing he wanted to do. So I, I thank God that we did instill these academic, pour these academic skills into them. So when he did get up to that age, he was still able to take the SAT test, the ACT test, and whatever other test he needed to take in order to get into a college. All of my kids have gone to college. Some of them did come back and say, oh, well, I don't think I need a college. And some of them say, are saying, oh, well, I could have gotten these skills just doing, um, going to like a tech school, which is probably true. But the point is, it's better to have and not need the skills 
than it is to need the skills and not have them. That's my mindset when it comes to homeschooling tweens. That's my mindset when it comes to home, um, educating children. That's my mindset about young people all together. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't, I'm not like the homeschooling community where they think it's okay to let the child lead. It's okay to just let them do their thing. That's has its place, and in, in depending on what it is you're talking about. But when it comes down to educating them, and as far as math, languages, and sciences. I'm of the mindset they need to be prepared and ready so they can have choices as they get older. So anyway, that's that's what I that is how I go about homeschooling tweens. And next time on the next video, I'll share a few of the um, curriculums that we use. It's also a good idea to get them involved in outside activities such as sports and some kind of clubs, you know, like um, Civil Air Patrol or um, even 4-H. I don't know if you have a 4-H in your area, but that's where you know they offer anything like working with animals, they have debate clubs, they have writing clubs, there's many different 4-H clubs. Just look at the, go to your, um, your, your county's agricultural division and look it up and you will find these things. They even have ones where they'll take them um, out into the parks to identify trees and different types of um, uh, wildlife and stuff like that. It's very doable and most of the time those clubs are absolutely free. They're free because they're given, um, they're provided to the public by the uh, from the Department of Agriculture in most states that I know of. And think about sports. I know that you're homeschooling, but there are different divisions out there where your kids can participate in sports. Depending on your child, if they want to, if that's like something they want to pursue in college, they need to start playing at an early age. All of the sports, swimming, soccer, rugby, football, basketball, whichever one they desire. There's all sorts of outside organizations that offer, you know, neighborhood sports and school divisions too that you can participate with. But you know, you gotta find some good ones. It just depends on how serious your student is. Don't forget about those. Um, I wanted to tell you about the Civil Air Patrol. You can find those in most of your states and most of where you live, you'll find a division where the um, Civil Air Patrol is offered to your kids. And that has to do with, I think they have to be at least 12 years old to participate with them. This is where they can, they will uh, participate in a group setting and be, introduced to the things of the Air Force, military way of thinking, military way of doing things, life. Because you know, a lot of the technology that we have, that we enjoy as civilians, actually came from the military. So um, it's not a far fetch to go to Civil Air Patrol and, and let your child enjoy that and learn the things and get a taste of it before they make the decision whether or not they would like to, to um, actually make a career in the military, in the actual military divisions. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about are the hours that you spend with with your tweens doing homeschool. <laughs> now, each individual child is different. I have had children that will start their schoolwork, get busy, do it, and finish as soon as possible. Then I have others who will do their schoolwork and go on forever and ever and ever and take forever to finish. So, you know, but it's 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 it really depends upon the temperament of the child, you know. But as a parent, as a parent you have to just stick to it monitoring them a little bit, but not so much so that they can't think for themselves. They need to be able to take the responsibility of finishing and completing the work on their own because after all, they're headed to high school and, and there will be, there's no one that's in high school. Remind them to do their work all, all of the time. And especially in, in homeschool too, we have to manage that because you're, when you're high school, they leave your home and go to college. They have to be able to self-govern and know what they need to do and what, what they don't have to do. So. That's just one more um, tip I wanted to give you when you're in the process of homeschooling your tweens. If you're interested in knowing any of, uh, about more about our homeschooling and some of the things that we do in our homeschool, check out this these videos up here in the corner. I think they're up in that corner right there. And um, there's also should be a link on the top up there somewhere that's going to link to a new, another video that talks about more about uh, homeschooling teen. I'm Adrian Brown, the homeschool mom of eight, and I am so glad to talk with you. So once again, thank you for coming by and don't forget, like this channel. Bye.